Hi, Jen here from Jen Michelle Coaching, and today I wanna to talk about what is emotional neglect. It can be really easy to rationalize or justify bad behavior in any stage of love, dating, and relationships, particularly if our modeling growing up for what healthy love or relationship looks like wasn't really up to speed. So I wanna go into this today so you understand what emotional neglect is and ways in which you can begin to recognize it and show up for yourself in any stage of love and relationship. For those of you new to my channel, I would love to invite you to subscribe. I release a video weekly. Emotional neglect is essentially any sort of inkling or desire for affection is invalidated, dismissed, disregarded, um, and just left out of the equation fully. It is a sense that we feel like our partner isn't willing to meet us or see us or understand us in those ways that make us feel safe, accepted, loved, validated, all of those really important emotions that help us um, approach love and life from a regulated nervous system versus kind of feeling unsafe and having to show up a certain way or be perfect in certain areas so we don't rock the boat or we don't lose that stream of love from the person in our life. If you're in a situation where you are not feeling like you're being validated, seen, heard, honored by your partner, or even in past relationships, perhaps you have a history of this. If you feel like this is a common theme in your life right now or has been in the past, so much of this is about really recognizing the situation for what it is so you're not dismissing it saying things like I don't deserve it or I handled that bad and kind of putting the onus fully on you and instead you're looking at the big picture and recognize that your needs are valid and wanting to be seen and to be met with affection and to be validated and honored by our partner is an essential need. And so to really not dismiss this as something that you'd love to have, but really recognizing that having our emotional needs met is a core need. Emotional neglect is also shutting down and not being open to any conversation on the things that are important to you meaning that there is just no bandwidth or capacity to hear the things that are important to you, that light you up, that make you feel connected, that make you feel safe. If you have a history of communicating your needs in an unhealthy way, then of course this sort of base is going to be different because perhaps it's a situation where the partner has shut down over time. but. If you have done this, or if your partner just is naturally prone to those avoidant tendencies and shutting down, it's about really meeting yourself right now where you are and to really speak to that desire for communication, to put your truth out there, to not shy away from vulnerability, to not avoid um, or sweep things under the rug because it's gonna ruffle some feathers or be inconvenient. Part of awakening your feminine energy and really awakening through this concept of surrender is to not appease people at the expense of ourselves and to be willing and brave and courageous enough to have some of those hard conversations that require the other person to also perhaps stretch and grow or not. And it's in this space that we begin to see what the truth is and what another person is capable of. And being able to have those important conversations in any stage of love, and especially with a long-term partner, is so essential to our overall happiness and well-being and relationship and to really approaching life from a balanced nervous system and to know that uh, we're not having to stuff a bunch of our needs and emotions down at the expense of ourselves so we avoid conflict. You see no attempt to stretch oneself, to show up, to bend, to compromise, to understand a different perspective in any way, shape, or form. Because of course, relationships are not about do as I say energetically. Maybe you're not hearing those words, but if the energy is I'm not open to you, then 
things are going to start to wither. And that almost reminds me of contempt, right? Contempt being something that is such a toxic component in relationships where there's just no ability to be free and to authentically express oneself. And that will leave one feeling so much watered feeling so heavily watered down and not having that access to just be free and to live in that that honest expression that openness that that essential way of being where we're just letting our light shine we're going to feel like a watered down version of ourselves if we don't take those bigger risks to let our partner know what we need speak to our truth and to own unapologetically what those essentials are in love dating and relationships so when i ask the question about emotional neglect it's about really recognizing a situation for what it is and being willing to show up in a way where you're creating the best opportunity for that person to feel safe to meet you halfway and that's through an earnestness that's through emotional intelligence communicating from the heart not from anger or urgency and also recognizing any of your own tendencies to rationalize or justify bad behavior and put it on yourself or internalize it in any way and instead really start taking those steps to see the truth of what your situation may be so you know what it is and it's in this space of really being able to recognize it for what it is that you then can begin to take those steps to heal it so if you feel like you're dealing with emotional neglect or if this video would be helpful to someone in your life that you know that is, please pass it along and please check out my site, jenmichellecoaching.com. I have so many different resources and tools to help women in all stages of just life, love, abundance, relationship. So please visit jenmichellecoaching.com. I'll put the link in the bio and take my free quiz there to better understand your love style and the strengths that you possess as well as the areas that could use some support much love and see you next week i got this feeling i can't describe